Let's see. Now you can hear me. That should work. Yeah, sorry. That's one of those little uh, mute things. Now you can hear me fine. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a little problem with the mute. I was moving windows around, so I missed that. But now we're all good. And yeah, you can hear the, the beeps coming in of telling uh, Lee saying, by the way, yeah, it's, uh, can't hear you. And that's, that's kind of how this rolls. I mean, live streaming can be really complicated. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a kind of an interesting process and it, it can be a bit of a challenge. Um, I've been doing this for a good while. And even then, uh, at the beginning, just got that little, forget to unmute sometimes, but yeah, it'll, it'll get better later. <laughs> I hope you are noticing a little bit of the improvement that I've done on this. It's changed a good bit. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm, I don't know if you, for those who saw the picture from last week's show and the one from before that, uh, I think the color in this one is a lot better. And it's the same setup. It's the same camera and the same, uh, well, pretty much the same everything that's set up as last. But I did make some adjustments. And I, I think the color is a lot different. So yeah, let me know what you think about that, if you if you can tell a difference. Um, actually, here, I'll, I will help you out. What I'll do is I will show you the difference. This is the this is the color that we had for, that I'm, I'm doing now um, with some color correction. And here's what it looked like last week. Yeah, big difference, right? I mean, you just, that's, that's the difference. This is a color correction overlay that I put in called a LUT, L-U-T. Uh, and I, I manually created this myself. I didn't just get, get one and try it out. Uh, I did some color, took a screenshot and did some color correction in Photoshop and then saved the settings and put it on. So now you can see what it looks like with, ooh, better, right? A lot better. Oh, really? Your computer is broke? Oh, yeah. Kristen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I yeah, see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before I became a musician, what I did was I worked on computers as a computer tech. And believe it or not, I still do it sometimes. I, uh, I have some old clients that I worked on their computers. Like I built them back a long time ago and I didn't know who to send them to. So I still work on their computers just as sort of like a courtesy a bit. And, you know, I do help a lot of people on the circuit who, who that have computer problems, want to get a new computer or tweak it and set it up. So I, I do try to help out as much as I can. So this is more of an ironic statement because, uh, just last night I was working on, <laughs> working on somebody's computer remotely, uh, till wow. After 1130 PM, Jesse Linder, uh, who you saw on our show a few weeks ago, great musician. And, yeah, he was trying to do a live stream tonight, as a matter of fact. Uh, so after this, I'm going to go over and check out his show. But yeah, it was, uh, he, he was, we was trying to set up the OBS software to be able to live stream better. And I think, I think it worked out really well. I was very happy with it. Um, yeah, yeah, it, uh, it took some time. Uh, the trick with it is kind of uh, a little different. It's definitely different. Uh, makes your eyes pop. Well, oh yeah, I didn't even think about that with it. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess it kind of does. Happy coincidence, wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, helping out Jesse, it was a pleasure and it took a few hours, but really I just remoted it into his computer and helped him set up the software and configure it to, for optimal streaming and uh, tweak the colors on his Logitech camera and then set up the sound. And he's using uh, a Zoom H2 audio device. Uh, I, I have one too right here. It's the older model, but it's still a Zoom H2. And it, uh, it just works great. You can plug, it, it's a portable digital, so it'll record to a SD card, but you can also plug it into your computer and just use it as a microphone. It has four condenser mics, two on the front, two on the back. So you can get surround sound. It's really wonderful. That's how he's doing it. Uh, he was still enough farther enough away though that I put in some audio plugins, a compressor, and some EQ, and 
tweak that form and set that up. It's interesting to do that remotely. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty different. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some more computer work remotely during all of this because I, I did make it work. So we'll see. <laughs> so yes, I wore this shirt ironically is my point. That's <laughs> so just for you that were wondering. But yeah, this is a uh, so this is just another test to see how the how I can improve this whole process. So the LUT L U T uh, a LUT better. Oh man, that's wow. Ah, uh, okay, okay. The pun gloves are off, everyone. Um, thanks to Merrick. That's yeah. Pun gloves are off. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's doing a LUT is. Well, you can, if anybody's curious, you can research it by doing OBS and LUT, L-U-T, and do a search and you will find YouTube videos on how to set that up in Photoshop. It's not too, if, I know I like to say this, it's not too hard, but uh, uh, it really, it really isn't. If you're used to Photoshop at all, it's really not. Uh, if you're not used to Photoshop, it'll take a little time to go through the tutorials, but you can do it. Uh, but yeah. I mean, if you get used to OBS and you get used to Photoshop, it's pretty easy. And it's and you can tell the difference. I mean, okay, we're going to do it one more time just because I think it's freaking cool. Um, yeah, there you go. And just such a difference. It just looks, it looks like hazy to me on the screen. I don't know if you, you were seeing that too. And just a little hazy with a little bit more blue. <laughs> yes, yes, I do have filters. I do try to uh, restrict. I can't even say that was a straight face. Okay, you're right, fine. Uh, but yeah, the when you put the LUT on, it just, yeah, it just, it seems a lot better than, a lot better than it was before. I also went ahead and disabled the autofocus and uh, auto white balance on there. Uh, I, I know in some situations, if you're moving the webcam around a lot, that's a great way to do it. Uh, because situations change, but if it's the same lighting in the same location and you're not really gonna change it, Tweak it and disable it because it tends to flicker a little bit the, uh, and can make it seem a little blurry and out of focus sometimes. The lighting can change a little bit and you just don't want that. Just keep it where you really like it and it's a better way to do it. <sighs> now, I, I hope some of you did see the show last Thursday. Um, that, I mean, Sarah Mullen and uh, Bonnie Moffat. I mean, it was really really a great show. Uh, good response, great audience, great performers. I mean, I love the music and the stories. So yeah, uh, hopefully you came by and saw that. Definitely, uh, the, the thing I'm most proud of with Life's Affair and uh, with the help of Lee and everything, getting all this together, is just how every week our show is better than the last. And I mean, it, it's not, the performers do great every week. So it's just, we just keep doing better with the show and the presentation and adding new stuff. And it's just so much fun. Hopefully you guys have really appreciated it and, and like the difference in what we've been doing with it. And believe me, if you have any suggestions, please let us know. Uh, it is, <laughs> it's just, it, it's just fun. Uh, Cause you, you get to just create something. And I know a lot of you are creative type people. So you understand exactly what I'm saying with that level of pride when you create something that you're proud of. And it's, it's fun. I mean, we're producing shows every week. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, you know, I mean, as much as we're trying to build Life's Affair and make that into something we can be proud of, the main goal has always been to help out the performers and to uh, get them a place where they can, uh, they can entertain and also, you get to find out something about themselves. So really, it's it's about them, but it's also about you guys, where you get to learn a lot more about them and be entertained as well. And I've said this so many times, but I'm going to say it one more time. And by one more time, I mean one more time this show, <laughs> that a lot of the reason for Life's Affair was to create the feeling of fair online as much as we could. And I really think we're starting to get there. So yeah, we're on the right track, I think. So feel free to comment on that if you want or ask any questions. Um, I'm just going to keep talking. A difficult thing I know. I'm not really much of a talker, but I'll try. 
waiting for a comment from Lee on that or anyone else because it's probably coming. <laughs> yeah, uh, but also I some of you are aware that I did a there was an extra song in my show uh, a week and a half ago on my birthday show, my birthday bash. Uh, I had an extra song at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh text okay uh yeah yeah <laughs> the classic drink holder comment yes um okay i'm gonna go ahead and address that real quick because for some of the for you that don't know on in the audience that is the classic computer tech joke that the person um yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks, Lee, for that. <laughs> the The classic computer tech joke is, you know, oh, a person calls a computer tech and says, hey, uh, I'm having trouble. My cup holder just doesn't seem to work. It's stuck. Like, oh, well, okay, let, let's try this out. And what do you mean by cup holder? And they go through this process back and forth for 30 minutes. And then finally, the tech figures out that they were using the CD-ROM tray as a cup holder by pushing the button. It would come out and they'd put their glass right on top. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Most of you probably know that joke, but that's the classic. <sighs> oh, well. Ah, anyway. <laughs> so, I was doing an extra song for, uh, for the show, and I was getting help from people. I sent out a, a information to say, hey, come on, let's, if anybody wants to join in on this, let me know. And I got a few musician friends of mine to join in, and uh, some... Uh, some fans and everything to, and friends to join in. And it, it worked out really well. Uh, but it was a huge undertaking, a huge project. And I was going down to the wire. It was the day of the show. I was working like crazy. And uh, Lee and I were talking back and forth. And uh, I, I just, I was saying, you know, okay, I'm, wor I'm, I'm working now. Okay, don't, don't, don't interrupt me. I'm trying to make sure we have a show. And she was freaking out saying, wait, you think we're not going to have a show? What's going on? <laughs> and I, I was, I was, it, it was more, uh, it was more hyperbole than anything. I, I didn't really mean that. I just meant I was worried about getting that extra song in. But uh, at the end, I was like, you know, I don't want to do um, a mediocre version of that song. I, I want to do it right. So we agreed that let's not put that in that show. Let's just do the show without it and go ahead and put that in next week or so or the week after. So I've been working on it, and I want to say it is, it, it, it's about ready. So uh, it, it's really cool. Now, I'm not going to show it tonight, but I'm going to give you a little peek. This is kind of what it's looking like. Um, so let's see. Here we go. Yeah, that's kind of what, what a, a part of it is going to look like towards the end. And I'm really, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really kind of, uh, I, I really liked it. I mean, the, it doesn't just stay like that the whole time. It's, uh, the, the screens kind of bounce around a bit, but towards the end, that's where they're all together. And it, it it's really, it's nice. Uh, blends really well. Great sound. I'm very happy with it. So, uh, stay tuned and hopefully you'll hear something about that in the next day or two. And we'll be putting that up. Uh, right now it's just I have so many videos and the editing software rendering is a bit of a, a challenge. So I'm finishing that and then we're good. So I will uh, get that up to y'all and I think you're going to like it. A very, it's health to the company. It's a great, uh, a great tune. I'm sure all of you know, and it's going to be fun. So yeah, just wanted to let you in on that. Uh, so yeah, now I did want to say, uh, it was really interesting working with so many different singers and musicians. I will say it was both really interesting and freakishly scary <laughs> because uh, it was, I sent them a recording and then they all joined me. But the issue that I ran into was I realized they couldn't hear each other. So some of the arrangements they came up with were quite interesting and I had to really be creative on how to blend it all sometimes. It was really cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, some some of them were doing more uh, uh, more more of like a dirge. Some of them were doing more upbeat and happy. Some of them were doing something in between, and it was all just kind of like, whoa, okay, let's blend this. Um, 
so yeah, I think I think you're going to be happy. It, it's uh, it's going to be a lovely thing. So look for that in the near future. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Now, some of you might have seen that uh, we have a show coming up Thursday, and this is going to be great. Um, yeah. Uh, now, I'm sure a lot of you uh, are familiar with Judas and Magnolia. Uh, they play at Sherwood and um, some other fairs around. But I don't know if, if you're that familiar with uh, the Langer's Ball. Uh, they play more west coast and up north and that area. So not exactly the same area. That, As far as I know, I don't even think they've ever played in Texas uh, where I am. So yeah, it's really interesting. They're, they are a rocking group and I am very happy that they're going to be playing this Thursday. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, them with Judas and Magnolia, I think it's a great pairing and I think you're going to really like it. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a good point, Lee, that everyone was using different types of recording equipment and didn't have the same type of recording. Right? That is true. Uh, yeah, I will say that doing that, I mean, think of it like this. Try taking um, two voices and blending them together. You know, uh, somebody, two people singing the same song. And then try taking uh, three and blending them together. And then try taking four voices and blending them together. Okay, now try taking um, 11 voices and blending them <laughs> together. And some of them are also playing instruments while they sing. And you're just kind of like, uh, uh, uh. yeah, it was it was interesting. It was definitely interesting. Yeah, Jews and Magnolia are great. They have a, they do a great show, uh, Crispin. Yeah, it, it is really fun. They are good. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the Last Unicorn... That was, you know, uh, I, I introduced a song uh, to my old group, the uh, Brobdenagi and Bards, back when we started uh, the last page of the um, the book, The Last Unicorn, uh, None But a Harper. And uh, my old bandmate Mark jumped on it and was like, Harper, yes. And we, we played that a lot. That was that was my influence on that. I, I always liked The Last Unicorn, too. Uh, and yeah, Jess, yeah, the... Uh, Speaking of the bards, like you, you are, and it was uh, it was interesting. We, we played that for a while, and then we uh, uh, then then we uh, got to meet um, the writer. So that was a lot of fun, and and talk with him about all. It was just oh wow, uh, so good. Um, yeah, it is just yeah, it is a fairly traumatic book for and movie for a kid, uh, really. It really is, um, I, but I think it strikes that um, uh, that strikes that middle ground balance, where you kind of get to enjoy enjoy it, be afraid, but not too scarred for life. I think it, it really does a good job with that. Beagle just was great at that. Um, oh, really? You know Langer's Ball? Yes. Okay, that's that's uh, that's great. Um, I, I wasn't sure how many of you would be familiar with them. I know they are, have been doing fairs for years, but um, yeah, it is, it is pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, how many, how many did send in submissions? I think overall, uh, we got about, um, ah, uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I know we got a few more than this, but we ended up get, putting it down to uh 10, uh, because there were some technical issues with some and a few people weren't sure about uh, it was a little confusing for a, a few people, but I think, yeah, I think we ended up with 10. I mean, the picture shows uh, the total amount. Um, here, I'll show you the picture again. Why not? Yay. <laughs> um, so, uh, 10 others besides me. Yes. A, a total. And you can kind of see them on there and it, it's, uh, yeah, I think it, it turned out really good, really good. And I, I honestly wasn't expecting as many people to play instruments as they did. Um, like you'll notice in the second column over there uh, from the right, the uh, a few people, you know, uh, played a tin whistle and a guitar and sang while the, during. And it was really, it's like, oh, okay. I thought you were just going to sing this. Um, okay. And uh, I mean, and it worked. It worked great. Uh, I just, I wasn't quite expecting, I wasn't quite expecting the response that I got. 
I learned a lot from that experience. It was great. Uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> and yeah, they were just, uh, uh, everybody was really so supportive and uh, just said, okay, do you need anything else from me? Is it good? Yeah, what do you want? And, uh, but no, I, I didn't want them to change anything because once they sent it, I could tell how much they really loved doing it. And I was kind of like, I can make all this work because yeah, this, uh, I'm a sound engineer, so I can do that. <laughs> And that, that's sort of the trick. You just learn how to blend things that um, and make it sound like it was intentional the whole time. And honestly, it didn't, I mean, I'm, I'm playing, I'm making it sound like there was a lot of work that went into it. Uh, yeah, uh, that it, it, I had to fix things. And that's not exactly true. It, it's not really that. It's just, uh, it, it's more of a style thing because when I when I did the song, I had a certain thing in mind. So it's more getting everybody into my vision of the song a little bit with, okay, we'll make this more stand out. We'll do this. We'll do that. And it's more like that, just putting that blend together. But yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I just really, <laughs> I really liked that. That was great. <laughs> yeah. And I like, you know, I'm really pleased with this, uh, with this camera. I mean, you can read the text fairly well and, um, actually it's a little blurry. I might tweak the, uh, yeah, uh, I might, I might tweak the focus a hair, but yeah, no, it, it's still, um, yeah, it, it's really good. And this is still just a 720 P camera. So, uh, it's not, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty good. Oh, pinkish in the small shot. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm still rendering it and I'm still doing some color correction on it. So I'm, I'm finishing that up. That's that I, I realized after I took the screenshot and set it up that I was like, wait a minute, that's that's not the final one, is it? Um, so yeah, it, it's going to look, uh, it's going to, there's some color correction that I did on that too. So yeah, good observation. Good observation on that. <laughs> so yeah, not too bad. Hmm. So yeah, uh, good stuff. I'm looking forward to the show on Thursday. I think that is going to be, yeah, I think it's going to be a great show. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, we're looking at shows past that and, and those are looking really promising and exciting too. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Hmm. Um, yeah, oh yeah. Um, uh, yeah, th this uh, I I'm still drinking out of my fair mug because it uh, uh, it, it gets to yeah th th I'm still doing my fair tribute every chance I get. Mm. Yeah, Beth. Um, yeah, and she was one of the people in that uh, in that picture that I showed. I'm not I'm not gonna put it on tonight, uh, but it, I I think you will we'll hear more about it in the next couple of days, Beth. So yeah, uh, don't don't worry, it will be very soon. Uh, yeah, I just need to finish up with the rendering. And the problem is that, I mean, I have a pretty powerful computer. It's, it's not ridiculous, but it, it, it's, it's reasonable. I mean, I, I can do live streams and do all of this fairly easily. But uh, yeah, rendering on that, just doing a test render on it for the full thing takes about three hours uh, of solid computer work to do it. And uh, I've, I've done snippets and, and tried things, but event, uh, then I'll do the full thing and I'll look and I'll be like, oh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just tweaking a few little things and it should, uh, it should be really soon. So uh, yeah, it should, and Lee's right, it should be this week. So don't worry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, keep in mind, it was, if it was a, if it was an issue of get it out now or get it out better, I wanted to get it out better. So I think you're, and Beth, you're going to be really happy with it. You are, I, I trust me. It's, it sounds great and it's, uh, it looks great and yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. Ah, hmm. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, <sighs> well, I mean, I guess, I think I answered everybody's questions unless I missed one. Did, did, did I miss any? Did anybody else have any other questions or thoughts, comments, quips? queries, quotes, quandaries. I don't think I can think of any more keywords. I'll work on it. <laughs> mm. But yeah, uh, you know, I, I think for me, a lot of the, it's just been a great experience. I, I'm still 
very surprised that people are still having problems with live streams. Um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm doing little fixes and tweaks just to make it better, but as far as sending it to Facebook, um, yeah, I just don't really, I don't really see a problem for me. So I think a lot of it is just encoding issues and they just don't quite know how to set it up right. Um, oh, right. You know, thanks, Lee. I totally forgot about that. There was this conversation during the last show um, about would you rather be a princess or a dragon? Uh, yeah. So that, I mean, it got into a lively discussion. I was really surprised by that. Uh, people are really taking it, uh, taking it really, yeah, why not both? You're right. That was one of the consensus, uh, things with, uh, uh parts with uh, a lot of people. I don't know. I, you know, for me, my first thought was, of course, you know, a princess or a dragon, I'll be a princess, you know, shocking, right? Because I'd rather be something real and not fictitious. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, maybe that's the performer in me, but I, I would like to be, I, I would not like to be inconsequential. But I mean, okay, but but going by the assumption that in this area of discussion, dragons are a reality and all of that, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, yeah, um, that, that you've got both. Uh, there's also the idea of being a, a dragon princess. But the problem with that, in my opinion, is that the princess in a, a society of dragons, well, it's not really everybody's a dragon. So you can't just get huffy and fly off and, you know, burn people if they annoy you. It doesn't work that way. You've got other dragons that uh, can do the same thing. So you're still, uh, yeah, you're still going to be married off to a dragon that you don't want to be married off to. So yeah, not, not good. Not good. So I, I, I'm going to be honest. I, yeah, I know. Leave. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, I, I would, I would have lost money if you'd said princess. I'm going to be serious on this. Yes, very serious. Uh, for me, I'm going to have to go with dragon as well. But, uh, you know, that's the romantic in me. <sighs> Princess and drag. <laughs> oh, I like it. That is good. That is good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. <sighs> oh, gosh. Oh, I'm picturing it, and you're evil. I I'm, I'm seeing this in a... Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for that. Thanks for that image. Actually, I think I've seen that at Dragon Con before, ironically enough. <laughs> a princess in drag at Dragon Con. Yeah. Uh, wow. <sighs> oh, mercy. Mercy. Uh. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, yes, yes. So... Anybody else have any, uh, their view on princess or dragon? You know, that's true. You were dressed as a princess before. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. And I wore noble garb at one point too. I, I, I don't really do it anymore. Um, yeah, it, it just, uh, I learned an interesting lesson. Um, if you look like you have a lot of money, people don't tip you as much. Not a good plan. Not a good plan. So yeah, uh, that was a lesson learned there. Definitely a lesson learned. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there, there, I'm sure there are some pictures. Uh, I'll have to try to dig those up and see what I can find. Okay, okay. Dealing with dragons. You know, that sounds like a card game at Gen Con. I'm just going to say it, you know, dealing with dragons. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That would be good. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, so I always tried to wear something that didn't look like, I didn't go for the mud beggar approach to, um, perf to playing music on the street or anything, but I, there, there's a middle ground. Yeah, you could do trading cards. Um, you could do that, but I, I was thinking more about playing cards. Like Gen Con, they normally have uh, tons of games and uh, all the latest stuff. Uh, so, yeah, you can a lot of new stuff, a lot of indie stuff, and it it's quite fascinating. But yeah, they could be trading cards too. <laughs> Dealing with dragons. 
That's actually a good name for a trading card deck. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Chris. It is an, an undertaking. Um, I'll be honest. For the first month, I was working between 12 and 16-hour days every day for a month <laughs> without fail. It was a bit crazy. Um, after that, oh, I'm closer to 10 or 12-hour days. <laughs> it's like that. Um, yeah, but it was a lot. The tough was just get, get the tough part was getting the infrastructure together. I mean, I don't know if I don't think people realize there's just two of us. Uh, it's just Lee. And I, I, if it wasn't okay, I'm just gonna say this, Lee. Thank you, thank you. Because if it wasn't for you, this would not be happening. I, I know you think the same thing, but it's just yeah, this was really a uh, huge, huge undertaking, even for two people. Um, ridiculous, and somehow we managed. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Kristen. Yeah, it is. But it's it's a labor of love, and it's so much fun. I can't even. I mean, I'm. I, I get to I get to work with performers, and it's just. Uh, and just have a great time doing it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, it, and we get to produce shows. I mean, I don't know. I I've never really thought of myself as a producer. Um, I want to be a producer. No, I never really thought of that. I that that was never something I was never a goal, but yeah, I think, and I, I don't even know if I'm really a good one, but I think working with Lee together, I think we're, we're, we're doing okay. Um, yeah, I don't think, yeah, thank you, Lee. Yeah, I, I, you're right with each other. It, it works. <laughs> it is an odd situation where uh, the stuff I'm weakest at are her strengths. And I think the areas, some of the areas at least where she's weakest at are my strengths. And uh, it, it's really, it really works well. Um, hey, Carol. Uh, oh, and hey, Jan from before. Yeah. Uh, uh, if Gen Con were not canceled. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it would depend on a lot of little things. Um, I mean, I'll be honest. I would probably come up with the most creative mask known to man. Uh, in how to make that work, because uh, I've got to be able to sing and do. I mean, it would be interesting. I, I would come up with something. Uh, I mean, I, I would at least make an effort to try to make it work if I could. If I if I could figure out a way to make it work, I would come. But I would take some serious precautions. And uh, the beautiful thing about my situation is, you can actually, as a musician or a performer there at Con, you do get a level of social distancing. I mean, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a secret. I do this at Ren Fairs and I do it at conventions and I don't usually tell people this. So a little bit of insight or info. Um, when I'm walking through the dealer's room at a convention or walking down the halls or I'm walking through a fair, you will often see me playing music. Even if it's just strumming a chord or you know playing a few notes on the recorder or something. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah. The reason why, it's it's my own little private Fezzik who says, you know, everybody move, and that's it. I mean, when I play music, everybody in front of me turns around and goes, huh, what, what, what? Oh, is something going on? Is it a parade? What? Okay. And they move out of the way. They automatically move out of the way for me, and I can just go straight. <laughs> like, oh, huge people up ahead. Woohoo, you know, a lot of people. Okay, there's, there's a lot of people up ahead. I'm doing this, you know. And everybody's like, what, 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 there's, 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 what's going on? What, 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 what? And they just move out of the way. <laughs> I know, I know. It, it, you wouldn't think it, but uh, yeah, um, that, that's been, that's been what I've been doing. Uh, uh, that's what I've been doing for, for years. And it just works. Now I almost, it's almost weird to walk through the fair or the convention without playing music. It feels strange. Um, it feels very strange. So yeah. Uh, that is, that, that's one of the reasons you see me do that. Um, so I'm, I, I could possibly do that. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> that would be one way of doing it, Kristen. That would be, that would be a way of doing it with the bugle. Um, I don't, I think that might be overkill. And you see, the thing is you want to entertain, but not piss off. You want to just amuse or 
I do go that way. It is a weird Pied Piper thing, but you can do it with a guitar or something like that. I mean, you want it to be, you want people to notice, but you don't want it to be, uh, bagpipes, they will do that, but they won't really like you afterwards. <laughs> Not necessarily, because, you know, you, okay, what, what's, what's the worst seat in the place uh, to listen to bagpipes? Right next to the bagpipes. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you're being herded with bagpipes. So I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's the secret to traveling through fair, if you can get away with it. You know, if you can do some bit, people will watch you, but they'll give you space. There's that automatic instinct of there's a performance going on or something going on, so I need to maintain a level of distance. And surprisingly, it's usually about six feet. So it might work. It might work. Uh, so anyway, I'll be looking at Gen Con and trying to see if I can make that happen. I definitely want to. It's on the cusp of what I think would be safe. I mean, it's, it's at the end of July. So I don't know. I mean, I, I think what will happen is by the end of May, we'll, uh, we'll know a lot more about how this is turning and what will happen. But I really want to go, so we'll see. Um, you know, I mean, that's that's the secret to traveling around through those events. But you know, another secret, another secret is how to, uh, how, how to support performers online. And I, I'm going to tell you that the whole sharing the show is about the best thing you can do for performers. So, um, so yeah, if you want to share my show right now, that would be awesome. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, that works, but generally sharing the show is just, a really, a really great way to support. If you see any performers online that you're watching on Facebook Live or whatever, first thing you want to do, share it. Because that is like giving them a tip right off the top. Um, I can't stress that em enough. And, and I don't think many people know that about the Facebook algorithm. And that's how much emphasis Facebook really gives that. It's a lot. It really is. So um, especially if, if, you know, uh, you, you can't tip them or whatever, that's a great way to support them. Uh, so no matter what, try to do that. If you can share their show on your page, um, and you know, like it and do that too, but yeah, it, it really makes a difference. So I really want to encourage that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, ah, secrets of fair and secrets of Facebook. Okay, yes. Facebook tip for the day by Andrew McKee. Right. And that is a very good point, Lee. Commenting is important, too. Uh, that, uh, that actually carries a lot of weight with Facebook, too. So, yeah, if you, if you like it, share it, comment on it. Um, I, I'm going to be... It is like tipping the musician. It really is. Because you're, you're suddenly giving it a lot more reach. Uh, it's going to be seen by more people. And... That's really, you're giving, you're essentially giving them a bigger audience. And uh, it is, it's like a great tip of support. So yeah, uh, definitely do that. And yeah, I, Facebook is an odd animal, but I really, it, it, it's, it, things are coming together with it. Things really are. Well, I guess if there are no other questions... Um, I'm probably going to call it here. I, I usually try to keep these to 30 minutes, which means it's usually closer to 45. So <laughs> I guess we'll uh, go ahead and call it here. But as always, thanks for sharing the evening with me. And it's always fun. I really just, it's really, it, it's just, yeah, it's, it's really a blast. And thanks for supporting this and Life's Affair and uh, keeping this going because... It, yeah, I mean, it. we're kind of, half half of why we're doing this is for you, for the performers and for you, and uh, you're keeping this alive. And hopefully, hopefully it'll just keep going and uh, keep getting bigger and better. And uh, that's the goal, to keep these shows interesting and fun. Uh, <laughs> I said fun, and then she immediately said time flies and you're having fun. It's like exact for the same time for me. I know there's a delay for you, but that's when it happened. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, all, all the others. And just, uh, uh, yeah, it's been a blast. And take care. I'll see you on Thursday. And remember, life isn't always fair.